Hello my awesome people, Skyhawk here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Yes, um, another series of Kerbal Space Program you may ask. Um, I, I'm going to try and stick with it this time. Uh, um, I'm not entirely sure, like, part of it is getting started, and that all side. Alright, so the goal of this series, it's uh, Kerbal Space Program, Colonization. Uh, we are in version 1.0.4.861, and I've identified part of the problem that getting a Kerbal Space Program is actually getting started. Um, so we're going to start a new game. Um, there we go. Career mode, except... I am going to be adjusting a few things. First off, we're going to have entry purchases for research. We're going to bump our starting funds up to 115. Starting science up to 200. And reputation up a smidge. Um, I feel like this will give us a good start. Uh, wrap right the back. Um, yeah. So accept that. Uh, set our flag and give her a start. Okay. Got that. I've got tech life support. Uh, as far as the mods are concerned, uh. As far as the mods are concerned, I will have a list uh, underneath the in the description, uh, and yeah, okay. And there's a lot of mods involved. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have 200 signs to blow right off the bat, and this is going through the all the annoying stuff at the beginning of the game. Uh, basic rocketry. Eh, there we go. Engineering 101. Eh, there we go. Uh, need to remember to purchase these parts. Uh, general rocketry. This gets us some engines and fuel tanks. Uh, stability. Survivability. Okay. Now we can afford two of these. Uh, or I believe one of these and one of the next here, which um, I don't think let's see um, electric stuff would be handy the snow gets us nothing flight control handy but not necessary yet um, I think we're going to want advanced rocketry and maybe propulsion systems. We'll move ourselves up to larger rockets. Uh, we're going to go with this one. That is a lot of money we need to spend to get those parts, though. Whew. Alright. So, <clears throat> we worked our way through a decent part of the tech, tech tree. Into the ve vehicle assembly building. Warner Von Kerman, I've got all that information I need from you. Alright, the first thing we need to do, we need to set some speed records and some stuff, actually, before we build a rocket. And in the first episode or two, uh, I will uh, I will be building the, the rockets on camera, unless it's uh, something interesting that I need to uh, feel I need to share with you. Uh, da, da, da. and we will be 
Okay. We'll be mainly working with sounding rockets here. Um, this is a 0.625 meter apart. And then... We're gonna need all sorts of things here. This is the thing where I, I don't, the reason I don't want to do uh, this on camera is there's a lot of like me staring at the parts list trying to find stuff. Uh, and while I could tell you some very space stories and stuff that I have personal, personally from various experiences and stuff, uh, I don't feel that those are necessary right now. Okay, we'll make this a... Uh, and make this a nice tall sounding rocket. Uh, oh, I want... Alright, there's that, there's this, I need there. So I'm making a multi-stage solid rocket booster propelled... craziness. Um, see now. As close as zoomed in as I can get. This is our avionics package which controls our rocket. We need our various scientific payloads. Okay, we need our nose cone, we need the remainder of the scientific payloads, okay, and then I'm just going to offset these so that Set. So that they're not sitting below the truss thing. Okay. And boom. Alright, next thing we need is some batteries to power this thing. Um, I don't think a full size battery pack is going to fit on here. So I'm going to squeeze in two of these batteries. These are 20 charge a pop. And there's a nice little avionics package. Or, avi or uh, Science. Science stuff. Okay. Uh, we don't actually have any way to control this thing. Uh, so, spin stabilization is how we're going to do that. We can go with four fins on the bottom and three on the top. And in order to do that, we're going to take off angle snap and rotate. And I'm going to say to a fairly aggressive. 10 degrees right off the bat because we need to get in this bring this down to about 75 no, let's sell fuel bring this down to 75 I'm sure 76 that looks good um, next thing we need to put rocket fins on this one Angle snap so they actually get on there straight and rotate. These ones can be less aggressive, but they still need to have some to them. Okay, 
Now that should keep us going up fairly, fairly efficiently. Uh, and, alright, we have an antenna, we have a control system, we have a scientific uh, payload, and we have something to get that uh, system up into the atmosphere, aka giant cardboard tubes stuck with stuff with explosives. Um, we'll be sending probably multiple ones of these up, uh, and this is a three-stage one. We have some uh, staging things to do here. It's annoying because on sounding rockets they really don't... Uh, let's make sure I have the proper... Yep, make sure I have decouplers on everything. Alright, this decoupler is... which one? Cuts this one loose. And then I want... Okay. And then this one is our main stage, followed by separation and ignition of our second stage, followed by separation and ignition of our third stage, Awesome. And yeah, I think that will do it for the start. Um Okay. So I guess um time to go boom. Okay, I have added some more fins to help with our spin stabilization up here. Uh, because we're just gonna go to a wonky if we didn't don't do that. All right, lift off or main engine ignition in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Main engine ignition. We have lift off, pushing 1.75 G's, 50 meters per second. About three rotations, or uh, one rotation per three seconds. 30 RPM right now. An engine at 50% fuel. Uh, no deviation from motion vector. About 60 RPM right now. World speed record of 150 meters per second achieved. Altitude record. Second engine ignition. First engine separation is successful. <laughs> right. We have reached 200 meters per second at 5,000 meters. Okay, altitude record of 7,500. Third stage ignition. We're running out of atmosphere to spin us. Okay. There is no real deviation right now from our motion vector. Hopefully we can maintain that. There's no oscillation. Speed record of 300 meters per second achieved. Stay with me, payload here. We got this. So got this. Okay. Altitude record of 19 kilometers achieved. What is our... Apoapsis is at 22. Okay. At Apoapsis, we will jettison our fairings and lower stage. Vertical speed is pretty much. Okay. Spin stabilization, separation of fairing, and upper stage successful. The only thing annoying is, okay, um, got aeronomical data, keep that, uh, get in engineering experiments, keep that data, meteorological data, uh, keep that data, materials data, keep that data, I did not include the thermometer, I probably should have done that. 
Alright, now we're going to become a giant lawn dart. Uh, once we catch some air here, as we are going into the thicker part of the atmosphere. I'm not a fan of all the spinning, but I will accelerate this a little bit to uh, get us down to the ground a little quicker. Well, at least seemingly quicker. Alright, there we go. We went lawn dart mode. Alright, um, we are still gaining speed. So we will deploy the parachute at a thousand meters. There we go. Awesome. And five meters per second should be survivable for all the components. Okay, I will speed us up again to get us to the ground a little quicker. See, can we? There's our shadow. Awesome. Everything's going perfectly. <laughs> well, almost perfectly. Did not include that thermometer. That would have been a few more science, but. Okay. And. Go back to normal speed. Oh, something exploded. We lost half of our science with half of our stuff going boom. Okay. Um, well, recover vessel. That's unfortunate, but I'm sure we will be seeing that science again. Uh, 15 science earned, okay. Uh, up to 177,000 funds again. Which means we can finish out our purchase. Okay, so now we own liquid fueled stuff to get us into much better orbits and stuff. Um, trying to see where the old mini gyroscope is on here. Right here. I do not have enough to research that. Um, that'll, that this is almost, almost necessary. Anyway, so close that. And that will pretty much do it for this first episode. Uh, next episode we will be sending up another sounding rocket or two. Um, and maybe one with a liquid-fueled upper stage to get out of Kerbin's atmosphere. So, thank you for watching, my awesome people, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my awesome people.